Welcome everybody to my five minute distribution preview of Ubuntu Studio. Now Ubuntu Studio is of course based on Ubuntu and back in April they released their um, new version and I've uh, made a few customizations, added a few PPAs to make it more uh, my style as I like to tweak and you know sometimes an, an Ubuntu based system is a good system to tweak because you've got a, a solid base that works and you just move from there. Um, so let me show you what I've done here and uh, why I've decided to use Ubuntu Studio. Now you can get some more information on Ubuntu Studio here at DistroWatch and of course it is based on Ubuntu which in turn is based on Debian which is why it's so solid. Whoops. Now, let's take a quick look at what you get. Well, actually, I've made some changes, but um, like, for instance, these menus are completely different colors and the, the um, Nautilus window, I mean, I've changed to uh, Fainza uh, files and uh, icons. But let's see what you get in the way of applications and the applications that I did change. Now you get a ton of audio production. So if you're the kind of person that's going to edit a bunch of audio, you've got probably two or three different applications for every type type of job. You've got Blender for your 3D graphics, GIMP image editor, which I actually went to the PPA and um, got the uh, 2.8 version. Uh, single window mode everybody if you don't know how to get to that you just go into uh, single window mode right here under the windows window boom and you've got yourself a nice Photoshop style uh, single single window now let's check this out now they have it listed again in um, in um, oh look at this this is really cool this is like a uh, I guess like kind of like an Adobe bridge type problem a program where you problem where you can go in and um, manage all of your photos. I don't have any photos in my library at the moment since I just installed this again last night. Some more photography tools. Some video pro uh, audacity. Oh my gosh, if you're not using audacity to do your video, your audio editing, um, you really got to do it. Okay, uh, OpenShot came with um, with Ubuntu Studio, but I found it to actually be kind of buggy. Um, what ends up happening to me is I'll go in, add a video, boom, 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 do a few uh, cuts and transitions or whatever, and it will just stall on me. So what I'll what I do suggest is that you go in and um, and download. Do do do. Sorry, I went too far. Download PTV Video Editor, which works well with Ubuntu. So why wouldn't it work with Ubuntu Studio? Uh, some basic Office applications. I'll add LibreOffice later. There's really no off Office applications. This is not intended for people who will be writing uh, letters. Now I've added uh, the Quake terminal. This is this really cool thing where you can. It is based on uh, on the uh, Quake video game. Now you can see my system is running a little warm right now while I'm doing this recording. Oops. But um, as you can see, I've got eight cores working here on this System76 Lemur Ultra. And, uh, oh heck, why don't I just tell you guys a little bit more about that while I'm at it. Now, System76, of course, uh, makes laptops, desktops, whatever, right? So I picked up this Lemur Ultra. And, you know, it comes with Ubuntu, which, which is great. But I've found that Ubuntu could be a little problematic. You know, you're over here messing around with this this HUD, right? And uh, you know, all the applications that you recently had open and maybe some images and random stuff that will just pop up when you open up the, uh, the dash, which, you know, it's great uh, if you're at a, on a desktop, but let's say you're in a cafe or something, you don't want anyone seeing your bank statements or anything there as your recent documents. So um, XFCE is something that I felt was uh, a, good, um, a good change. Now another thing that I did here was uh, I upgraded XFCE 4 to um, 4.10 through the uh, PPA that's available. <clears throat> now one of the things that's cool about System76 is now they don't have their um, 
the drivers in the Ubuntu Software Center. So what you can go is you end up going to their website, to their knowledge base here, and you can download their driver. What I've got here is the um, uh, the latest version, which was released in June, and that will get all your keyboard widgets and um, keyboard icons working just fine, right? So you can get your your screenshot. I don't know your print screen going on there. You can fiddle with your brightness. Yeah, you know, this is all stuff that you would want to have working right out of the box. You're not going to get this kind of functionality with um, Arch out of the box. Although I would have to admit that when I did have Arch installed on this system, it was running a little bit uh, cooler and it was running slightly faster. But with the SSD that's uh, installed on here, you really can't tell. So as you can see there, uh, Ubuntu Studio is a, a is actually origined out of the United States. So. It's part of the uh, Ubuntu project, but the uh, the lead developers here in the United in the United States. What else can I show you guys? Um, I think that might actually be about it. So anyway, thanks for uh, watching this video, and uh, if you're not already, have a great weekend.